On the vast islands of Skyblock, there are many different ways of making money. Some are well documented, some not at all. Skyblock is built on coins. If you have coins, you can do basically anything you want. So in this video, I'll show you how to make about a billion coins a week. Is it possible? Yeah, of course. Is it hard? Also, yes. You may need some coins beforehand to get started, but with a variety of classes you can play, it's safe to say you're already prepared. Although it seems impossible to defeat this boss, which is known for its immense power and impenetrable defences, Ashfang holds the key to untold riches within Skyblock. But why would seasoned adventurers risk life and limb descending into the depths of a Crimson Isle? The answer lies within the limitless wealth that await those brave enough to face Ashfang. Four drops of precocious treasure, volumino fibre, a rare and highly sought after item which is used for fire veils, an item so valuable it commands the unimaginable prices of coveted auctions of Skyblock. This lumino fibre is a thread of otherworldly origin, delicately woven together with stardust and moonlight, its ethereal glow captivates all who lay their eyes upon it. Wait a minute, it's not that great. I mean, it's quite good I suppose. Of all, what even is Ashfang? Well, it's a boss located here in the Crimson Isle. It has 50 million health, however this 50 million doesn't actually reflect its real health, as each time Ashfang is damaged it loses 2 million health. This means it only takes 25 hits to kill, right? Well, that's not exactly true, as Ashfang regenerates 500k health per minion upon pulling them in. Ashfang is damaged by players launching blazing souls at it. These souls are summoned about 1 second after a minion dies. You might be asking, but how do you kill a minion? First of all, there are 3 different types of minion, the Ashfang Follower, Acolyte and Underling which all require a different class to kill. In an optimal party, you'd have one tank, two burrs, and one mage. Parties can have more players if needed, but I found the best is four. Tank might be the hardest class to play, but it's also the cheapest, as all you need is a reaper mask, a spirit mask, and gold ore armor. It is highly recommended to get a gyro and ice spray too. If you can survive, then gold ore isn't even needed and can be replaced by another armor set, such as Aurora. As for talismans, try to get as much health as possible with the Vitamin Death Power Stone. As tank, your role is to kill all the Grey Blazers, the Ashfang followers. You can easily do this by standing on top of Ashfang itself and using Jingle Bells. This lures all of the Greys to you. After you have 4 Greys on you, go to the nearest gravity well. On your way, you can swap over to a Spirit Mask to not die yourself as the wells affect you as well. As soon as the greys die, feel free to hit all four orbs into Ashfang, or leave them for someone else to do it, and be careful not to miss. After retrieving its minions, Ashfang will resummon a new set of four blazes of each type. These are initially bunched up in the middle, and this is the moment where you should use an ice spray on them. On the second or third summoning of the minions, tanks should gyro all of the minions into the center, and another player, such as Mage, should gyro them out to form a small cluster a few blocks away from Ashfang itself. Although doing this gyro tactic isn't necessary, it helps the mage kill all four red blazers in one go and makes it easier for the other classes too. Burrs is the next easiest, but more expensive. You're target of the blues, or the acolytes. You're going to need a decent giant sword or a dark claymore with necron or crimson armor. You don't have to go overkill as the damage cap is 1 mil anyways. If you reach 1 mil damage, invest into attack speed or ferocity. It's better to do 950k damage at 90 attack speed rather than 1 mil damage at 20 attack speed. If you're playing Burrs, set your talismans to Hurtful. These power stones are quite expensive, but they do drop from Ashfang. If you want to, save 9 magma urchins from the Crimson Isle bosses and unlock the power stone yourself for free. Since there are two players playing Burrs, it is suggested to coordinate each other. Usually one person kills both of North and the other kills both of South. Unlike Burrs, Mage only needs one person to kill all four Red Blazers, so it takes the most focus and you have less time to catch your breath. It is important to have a Hyperion and an armor that maximizes damage. The Sighted Reforge is recommended with tuning points set to Intelligence. You might need to gyro out the Blazers, so it's suggested to have a gyro to assist the tank. Once you've gathered up a party and done four Ashfangs, make sure to kill another boss such as Blade Soul or Mage Outlaw. In case you don't already know, if you don't reset, the game won't give you another Lumino for killing an Ashfang. I don't know why they did that, but it's just the way it is. You will find that this money making method gets better exponentially with speed, so I suggest to not pick up the drops from a boss. This seems counterintuitive until you figure out that boss drops automatically go into your inventory without the need to be picked up manually. Believe it or not, we don't actually need too many mods to do Ashfang, but there are a few optional ones such as chat triggers and SPE. With chat triggers, there are a few modules. First of all, there's Derpy, which allows party members to type exclamation mark warp and make the party leader execute the command. 
Next up is Estradiol Client. This module just counts Ashfang and puts it in chat like 1 out of 4, 2 out of 4, etc. This module just helps to keep track of how many bosses you've done before you need to reset. And finally, Mini Boss Helper. This adds two commands, slash start session and slash end session. This one just counts how long it takes for you to do each boss and puts it in chat after you've finished. As long as you follow these steps, it should be quite easy to kill Ashfang every two minutes. Let's say Lumino sells 1.9 mil each upon being crafted into a 5 ale, you get 45.6 million coins per hour. Keep in mind, these are only average times and don't reflect real money made from a skilled party, which could do Ashfangs insignificantly quicker than this. Additionally, you don't only make money off of Lumino, as Ashfang drops magma urchins and fire veils themselves, which also add to your total money made. One final thing, don't lowball veils for more than 10k, this keeps the price high and leaves the money making method absolutely insane. Finally, if you've gathered up an Ashfang party but they have no clue how to do Ashfang, send them this video and subscribe.